have one first shot, eight one. And we have one alpha, two alpha, three alpha, four alpha, five alpha, six alpha. So clean in one five one. Yeah, this thing is sweet. YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. Guys, I wanna start this video off just by saying Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I wanted to take a second to say that I appreciate all of the kind words, the engagement with our content and the support with our content over the last year. Uh, I really am happy with what we've been able to create during this last year and I am looking extremely forward to all that we have to offer you in 2020. Uh, I'm also happy to say that we get to start the new year off right with a review on an awesome 2011 from Atlas Gunworks, the Athena Tactical. As always guys, in the interest of full disclosure, I like to tell you how I go about getting these guns in for review. My buddy Paul came out to the range with me and he brought along his Athena Tactical for me to try out. We decided since we were already out on the range, we might as well film a review on the gun. With that being said, let's get into the specs. The Athena Tactical is a 9mm 2011 made by Atlas Gunworks. It comes in a competition or duty setup with a removable iron sight plate, which allows the mounting of handgun optics like the Trigicon SRO we used in this video. Several other optic plates can be purchased for a large variety of handgun optics currently on the market as well. It will also come with their tactical magwell, a bull barrel, and a 2 pound trigger in the competition model or a 3.5 pound trigger in the duty model. It will also come with Chili aluminum grips, which have a unique grip angle that feels extremely good in your hands. Now let's get to the range footage. Like always, I wanted to get my reaction to the first rounds out of the gun, and I can tell you I was not disappointed. What's going on guys? I have the Athena Tactical from Atlas Gunworks. These are my first rounds through the gun. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. Stand by. This thing is definitely a flat shooting 2011. I dig it. Let's get some more rounds down range. It's no secret that I'm a huge fan of 1911 and 2011 guns. The Athena Tactical is a great 2011 that shoots flat and returns to zero very easily. For this review, I thought it would be fun to try something a little new, so I set up a couple of courses of fire for Paul and I to run through. Uh, similar things you would see maybe during like a USPSA style match. All right guys, so for this review, I thought we'd do something a little different. Um, I set up a course of fire similar to what you'd see in maybe an IDPA or USPSA match. Uh, the reason being, something a little different. It's a new year, right? Uh, in addition to that, it's a 2011 custom competition gun from Atlas Gunworks, so it's kind of fitting. But anyway, shooter will draw and fire on the buzzer from the five to seven yard line, engage the shoot targets, obviously not engaging the no shoot. Uh, they're gonna sidestep it over to then get field of view on this C-Zone steel that's to the left, uh, probably about 15 yards away. Uh, from there, they're going to sidestep it back to the right and engage the shoot target. The, uh, the steel will be the no shoot there. So if you hear pinging on the right side, that means you shot the good guy. That is not good. So figure let's do that. Something a little different. Let's try it out see how it goes. Okay. Stand by. Seven oh eight total time, nine shots instead of eight because I missed on that CZO steal. Uh, we got two alpha, two alpha. I eventually got my shots after those. Let's rush down here. And an alpha and a Charlie. Total time, seven oh eight. I'll take it. Stand by. Check them hits. We got two alpha. We got an alpha and a Charlie. Then on this one down here, guys, that is the steel that he shot first, which is good. You want to hear the pinging. But on this one, we don't. So let's see how this looks. 
you got an alpha and a delta. But you didn't hit the good guy. So, good job, buddy. As you can see, this gun is extremely easy to shoot. The features of the Athena Tactical coupled with the large field of view from the Trigicon SRO definitely make it easy to get rounds on target quickly and accurately. Now, I know everyone will ask, what holster were you running? What belt setup is that? What jacket is that? So I'll address all those questions right here. The holster is the secondary on the waistband holster from our website. It's the one that we manufacture and offer and can be found on our website. I have it attached to an RDR gear belt via Safariland QLS and a UBL hanger. Paul was running the same exact holster with a paddle that we use um, that's more designed for OWB concealment. The jacket used as a concealment garment was the Fury Hardshell from Vertex. Okay, with that out of the way, let's check out some other drills that we ran on the range. With how fast we can run this gun, you know we had to run some build drills. We managed to get some pretty fast times after both Paul and I remembered both how to count and how to aim. And you'll see what I mean here. Forty-eight for five rounds <laughs> with two in the Charlies. We'll do that again. Hopefully. Only five rounds was still oh my fast. God, I count. <laughs> five rounds in one point seven eight, and all clean. First shot, my grip was not great, and I still took the shot. Ended up with a Super Delta. Two more Charlie. Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. Total time, 163. Let's go again. 264 total time. How are we on these hits? Clean. And we have one alpha, two alpha, three alpha, four alpha, five alpha, six alpha. So clean in one five one. Yeah, this thing is sweet. I can't count. <laughs> 261 total. Oh. Okay. What we got? We got all alpha one, one Charlie. Two. I think I put one through there. Yeah, it's all alpha one Charlie. Next, we tried a modified El Presidente drill. For those not familiar with this drill, it calls for the shooter to fire two rounds each on three targets, perform a reload, and then fire another two rounds on each target. So it's a total of 12 rounds with a reload, which were pretty smooth with the Atlas Tactical Magwell. First shot, 7-9. Clean, clean. One little Charlie. That's terrible. 575. What do we got for hits? Looks like one, two, three. Three Charlies. Charlie. Charlie. Reload was a little sloppy. All alphas, one Charlie. Total time, five, five, seven. What we got? Uh, I got two alphas here. I only see one Charlie in the center target, up top in the neck. Oh, two Charlies right next to the left. I think I still got a Charlie. Yep. This one barely broke. These are all clean. 
Nope, I got two Charlie right here. So three Charlies total, 392. Don't take the next shots. All right, one more time. I like hitting the steel through the target. Uh, 408, kind of flopped the reload. And I got a Charlie here, three alpha. One, two, three, four alpha. One, two, three, four alpha. Lastly, we did single shots to the head from the holster for time. Um, what's great about this drill is that it gives you a chance to find that balance of speed and accuracy in your shooting. As you'll see in this footage, I run the drill until my failure point, and then I keep it going until I find my balance. Uh, Paul also had some fun with this drill and found his failure point as well. Good hits, 128. Got one in the T. Again. 136 so it was only what less than a tenth of a second but I could definitely feel where I hesitated to not so much hesitated but had to move my dot to the proper place to get the shot so but still 136 we'll go again stand by <whistles> 131 my draw place the dot a little high, I could see it here. I brought it down and then broke the shot. Mechanical offset. Dot was about here. The mechanical took it down here. 137. So yeah, I'm looking at like a 15th of a second to properly move my dot to where I need it to go and get the most accurate shot. I mean, jaw shot, eye shot, are they still ideally good? Sure, um, but I mean, you want it there in those cavities, the nasal cavity or the eye sockets. So, give it a 165. In the box. It's low. It's Center the target. It's at the bottom of the head. That's it right there. 145. Low again. Now you all know with hand fitted 2011s comes a lengthy lead time as well as a hefty price tag. The wait time to get your hands on one of these can be all the way up to six months and at the hefty price point of $5,100. For those who can't wait, they do have a buy now section with guns already in stock on their website, so there is that option. Um, each gun comes with a one year muzzle to magwell warranty, so if anything goes wrong with the gun, they cover two day shipping to them and get it fixed for you and back out to you. After that, Atlas covers you with a limited lifetime warranty for defects and or premature wear, which is to be expected from a company of their caliber. Well guys, that's it for our review of the Athena Tactical from Atlas Gunworks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're a 2011 fan, then I think you'll definitely enjoy what Atlas has to offer. Thanks for checking out the video. Give it a thumbs up down below if you like what you saw today. If you're new here, please consider subscribing as we post new videos every week. If you wanna support our content, please check out the Patreon link down below. Members of our Patreon squad get first access to content, special discounts, contests, and giveaways. Um, they're the big reason why we can continue to create content for everyone and we appreciate their support. Thanks again, guys, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Uh, wait, hold on. Missed. What's going on, guys? Got the Athena Tactical from Atlas Gunworks. It's going to be first round to the gun. Let's see how it goes. Stand by. Boop. Boom. 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 Boom, 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 boom.